Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio for mid-March for love and relationship. You had a problem or an issue with per a person that you love. You were feeling like uh, you are in a relationship that you are obligated for, not what you want to do. Because before in the past you used to do like you know, things with love. Then you felt like you know, that you are doing like you know, things with your partner or someone that you love. Because you have to, not because you want to. It's give like you know really a lot of worry on your part, and you start really like you know just want to vent, express your feelings, but you want all the way unhappy and struggling like you know you were struggling within yourself, struggling about the relationship itself because. You wanted to empty or vent to your person and you start really like, you know, in argument, even if it's not really a big argument here. And it made you like, you know, feel that this isn't what I want exactly here because it's kind of like, uh, well, I want something, but the other person wants something different. I want you to be with me. It's not like that, you know, but uh, it feels to me that I'm doing everything and you are not doing anything at all. Or you could be like it could be like your person is doing something, a less effort than the the one you do. Your your uh, your uh, your person here like you know, start to worry that you are not gonna have them because you wanna keep like you know, once in a while reminding them knock knock you know I'm doing everything, and your person is worried here. They think that you are not gonna take them or allow them in their relationship because you want to have. Um, them doing the same effort or meet you halfway or at least like you no know, listening to you and because also that you want a commitment with your partner you want it to move faster because you have been waiting forever for this relationship to establish a good connection it says here your person loves you because it sounds like you know that they want off like you know for a few weeks or a week or two like you know without talking to you and you felt like you know my oh my god you know they are gone now it says here your person loves you they are coming through as soon as possible if they did not show up in the picture yesterday or today they're gonna show up tomorrow at least or a few days i'm not really picking on like you know a lot of time your person like you know is holding on you and they don't want you to walk away. You know, you are like a you know, soulmate. You have a soulmate connection. And they want to be with you. They are protective over you. They are not letting you go. Even if you say, I want to go to someone else, they don't want that. They will leave you alone. I see that. But they don't like it. They don't want it. Of course, they cannot force you or harass you with it. But in the same time, they don't want this to happen. I see you losing a friend also, a friend that you need to, you used to connect with, uh, a friend in, 
a colleague, it could be a colleague, a friend, like, you know, that colleague is a friend, and this person went away, or walked away, or changed their direction, and you are, you don't want this person to walk away, you, um, you get like, you know, on um, misunderstanding between you two also, so you felt like, you know, that this person, like, you know, that you wanted to walk away also from them, um, you gave them, like, you know, your peace of mind, it seems to be that you are not holding uh, your peace a lot at this time, like, you know, you, you get irritated very quick, that's what I meant, not, not holding your peace, it's, um, it's kind of like, you know, you do a lot of good things in your life, and you wait and wait and wait years and years and years, at the end, you find, like, you know, that the other person is not, is mistreating you, or not treating you very well, and you need to speak up, this is way, where you are, like, you know, recharged, like, you know, so much, like, holding on a lot, and you exploded suddenly. So, it came, like, you know, with two persons, someone that you love, and someone that you know already a long time ago, as a friend, or a colleague. Because it says here, like, you know, I've done enough, and I don't want to do it anymore. I'm fed up with this situation. You want at least, like, you know, to teach them that lesson, like, you know, I have been really there for you, and I have been really trying to make you so happy all the time, and I'm holding my peace, no matter what you say, even if you tell me something wrong, or you upset me, or you hurt my feelings, I'm still there for you, as really a good friend and a good lover also for your uh, partner, but it sounds like, you know, that you are fed up with being patient and doing the good things, and... Just like, you know, your person comes, like, you know, as soon as you open your, your mouth and they t say um, something really mean, like, you know, or, or rushing into something or snap at you, you couldn't stand it. That's it. Some of you, like, you know, are trying to move also. You need to find, like, you know, a place or a living. In a week, in three weeks, in a month, you have to be out of your place and you need, like, you know, another place. You do have the money. Some of you, like, you know, don't have, like, you know, the, ex the extra money also. And you need to be in another place, but you don't know what to do exactly here. You feel that you want to change your direction already a long time ago because you were waiting on your person to be moving in with you. But your person is taking a long time and they are not really trying to help you with anything. Some of you, you will be re moving with a friend or someone you know already and some of you will be moving with family. Temporary. Until you find a place. You still can't stay, like, you know, in your, in your place, but you feel, like, you know, that you want to change the area, you want to change the home. This is what you are trying to do at this time. Your person feel, like, you know, that you are doing uh, things alone, yes. You are peaceful, yes. But you are, like, you know, trying to separate yourself from everything because you cannot really try so your best to make your person happy and they are not trying to do anything for you to make you happy. So you stopped. You wanted like you know, to isolate. They don't want you really to walk away. Because a lot of you are worried here, like you know, that maybe your person is gonna love someone else or marry someone else. I don't see this is happening. I get here your person knows like you know, that you flare sometimes, you get angry, but they wait for you, they separate from you and they wait for you to calm down. They don't want to just say hello and you start really yelling. That's why they pull away on the side. If your person like to you know, go like you know, on trips all the time, like you know, to party with friends, family, all the time, it seems to be that you know from now on, I'm not getting that they will be going many places because of the situation of what's happening for a while. This is. 
what you wanted with your person to happen, and it's going to happen anytime soon, that they will stay with you or around you more. So if you have been missing like no out on a few weeks of love, love is coming to you again. For some of you that, you know, you have been really waiting for the love from someone from your past, but recently that you get to know a new love, and a new love in the air for a lot of you, and it's going to be really very good. But I, I see a renewed love between you and someone that you know already from your past, and they are coming back in the picture again. Yep, this is the love. Your person loves you. They care for you a lot. They know that you did a lot of effort with them. And it says here, lucky, whatever you said, you did, you yelled, you screamed. It doesn't matter. This person still loves you. Your person was back and forth, like, you know, about initiating or contacting you because they were, you were very upset. But now, they see the light that it is you that they want. It sounds here like you know, there are a lot of emotions that you are holding on at this time that makes you like you no know, feel some kind of insecurities and they see these emotions and they f they feel these emotions with you also or they feel emotions with you but they tell you here don't let like uh, misunderstanding get uh, the best out of you like you, know, you need to control your emotions at this time uh, be pleasant be smiley laugh uh, because obviously that you sit alone sometimes and you sink in your thoughts and you start really to think a lot of good and bad that is draining you, it's making you unhappy. You feel embarrassed about, you know, sending this message to your person and yelling and screaming and they didn't really want to do anything and now they are coming in the picture to make things better. It says here you were right when you yelled. It's not like you know you are not right. They are returning. Whoever you are waiting for, they are returning soon. Very soon, actually. Very, very soon. This month. And you're going to see them again. And try to look into yourself more, uh, look attractive, uh, take care of yourself because you ignored yourself the past two weeks or three weeks. You have to look your best and speak really like you know, kindly also. All the love that you are missing with your person is coming back and beside controlling emotions is the best for you right now it's your best bet i'm not really saying that you are not going to go into a little argument but that argument is not going to be like too much but you will get there where you want to be at and if in regards to a lot of questions like you know that i heard lately are we going to still getting married? Yes, you will be getting married. I see the marriage happening here for a lot of you. It sounds here September. You will succeed with this person and you are going to get married, yes. So, I wish the best for everyone. Well, dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. Thank you so much for uh, the people who donated, that helped a lot. I have a donation link in the description box. Uh, please uh, click on it and donate. That will help me a lot. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.